Okay, this is insane. You, you gotta listen to this. Just, just listen. You know what's funny? I think I miss you, even though we've been talking this whole time. <laughs> Can you believe this audio was generated by an AI, by a very tiny, a very small TTS model that is able to clone any voice? And from just like 10 seconds of, of original audio, from a source audio, this is amazing. <laughs> Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to teach you how you can clone any voice uh, for free and directly in your local machine using this model called Chatterbox TTS which came out I think like a month ago and I've been wanting to, to, to test it and, and just to try it myself and let me just say it is, it's incredible, I think the audio that you um, hear before with um, Scarlett Johansson or, or Samantha was unbelievable and, and to be honest most of the audios that I'm getting from it sounds incredibly good so just let me tell you briefly about this model and then I'll teach you how you can set it up on your machine and just get it running for free which is which is amazing. <laughs> so Chatterbox TTS model was released by this company Resemble AI which is a company that I just didn't know about uh, as I said like a month ago and uh, is open source so it's an open source TTS model and it's just honestly amazing and yeah well just here you have some of the key details about it um, something that really caught my eyes is how tiny it is and, and that really shows when when I run it on my, on my local Mac OS I just get the output in a couple of seconds which is really really good and yeah honestly I think this claim that they have um, a, um, a state of the art zero shot TTS I think this is probably true it's just Unbe unbelievable how easy it is so you don't even need to fine-tune a model as you would need for example with a level labs and well they also claim and they have this thing here um, the, in which they have compared or they have like people uh, testing and just hearing the dif different voice samples from a level labs and uh, chatterbox and supposedly chatterbox, chatterbox, chatterbox wins um, I think that might be true. Um, in my in my tests, both models sound incredibly well, um, but it's just kind of kind of crazy that uh, Ch Chatterbox just runs locally and is open source. And yeah, um, a couple more things about it. They have also a hugging face Gradio app that I also have here, so you can directly just get started and just test it here. This is going to use some um, credits from your uh, hugging face account, so I think it's going to be free until a certain amount and then if you want to use a GPU you gotta pay for it but if you're using CPU I think you can test it here as long as you want and in this repo that I'm gonna put down in the description below you're gonna be able to use yeah to just clone it and you're gonna have all these scripts uh, for you to just get started super super quickly so let me just show you how you can just uh, set it up on your machine all right, so just to get it up on your machine, like I go, as always, you just gotta open the terminal and just clone this guy. So you gotta just get this thing, clone it, then just hit git clone, and there you got it. And now you can just open with open it with cursor. You're saying cursor or with your IDE, probably it's gonna be cursor, and then just open Chatterbox. This is gonna open cursor with this window, and then the only thing that you gotta do is just install the dependencies um, and you want to do that with UV so you can directly start a UV uh, environment with UV VM and now you can just UV pip in e dot so this is going to install the project directly in that uh, virtual environment all right so once that's done that's it so you want to source the and once that's done you just want to source it so you want to activate by just put it VM activate being activated and that's it. This is gonna tell you that uh, Python is now running on that environment, right? So perfect, now you got it. And now that you have Chatterbox installed in your machine, let me open the cursor window that I had already before because I have some data here prepared that I wanna show you. So something that I wanna show you is just the source audio that I used to get this um, audio that you were uh, listening before. So this is just a combination so this is just like two different audio snippets appended one of six seconds and another one of seven seconds so just listen to them i was just saying i, I want to learn everything about everything i want to eat it all up i want to discover myself i know but don't be so boring i'm just saying for example like what if your butthole was in your armpit 
Okay, so these, these two audio snippets are directly from the movie Hair, right? And, and of course, um, these audios are from the actress uh, Scarlett Johansson. So this is just the audio that I want to try to just use as a source. I'll, well, and I did already. And let me just show you some of the audios that I got from it, which is incredible. So I think this one... You know what's funny? I think I miss you, even though we've been talking this whole time. Amazing. <laughs> Uh, I think this one surprised me. You have this way of pausing before you laugh. I like it. It's charming. That pause be be before charming, that was, that was incredible. You don't have to be perfect with me. Just be you. That's more than enough. I end the pause. It felt so natural. So I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised with this model. And I Should I start surprised. calling you handsome or is that too much for a Tuesday? <laughs> And this audio was, was really fun as well. So yeah, this is um, just the kind of audio that you can get with it. And just for you to just get started with it and just test it, you can use their Gradio app. So you just want to say Python Gradio TTS app. This is going to instantiate a Gradio application. If you don't know what Gradio is, it's just um, a framework to build for building uh, user interfaces in Python. It's super, super easy to get started with it. And then this is the user interface. So this is the same one that I was showing before. So this is already hosted in their um, Hugging Face page. So you can just get it, get this. Um, this is, well, maybe I'll just leave this in the description as well. Um, but yeah, so now one, the, this one is just running locally in my machine, right? And the thing that I was doing is was just, I was just using ChatGPT to give me some sentences or some things that Samantha uh, from her might say, right? And I was just, putting this here, so um, some example, right? So let's just get this one. I can I ask you something? When was when did you last feel understood? And now you just want to give uh, the audio reference, right? So we know that we have that in cursor. All right, so I have the audio here, and this is the audio that I showed you before. So I use this as the reference audio file, right? I was just saying, I'm, I want to... This is the one from before, perfect. Here you choose the exaggeration. So uh, 0.5 is going to be neutral. So when you put it up, um, I'm going to show you what, what, what is going to happen, but it sounds more exaggerated, which is just what it is. And then the base is just how fast uh, it is. It speaks, right? So when you click generate, this is going to take a couple of seconds, depending on your machine. If you, had a, if you have a GPU machine, uh, this is going to go super, super fast. Uh, this is just running right now on, on my local machine, on my local laptop. Um, so this is a MacBook Pro uh, M4. So it took, I think it took like 10 to 15 seconds, which is just really good. And let us just listen to it. Can I ask you something? When did you last feel truly understood? <laughs> that, that, this is just, it's just amazing. So it's just so good. It's just unbelievable. Let me just test it with you just, uh, with a couple more just to see that it's just consistent. So this is just a different thing that um, when I tested ses Sesame, um, most of the audios weren't so good. Some of them sounded amazingly, but Chatterbox is impressive because it's consistently good with just like 13 seconds of audio, which is crazy. Um, let us put this one, which is a bit more poetic. Generate, and just wait a few seconds. Okay, we got it, so let's just play. Maybe love is just the space where two minds choose to meet. <laughs> it sounds so natural, it sounds so good, so I'm, I'm, it's, just, it's just incredible. Um, so yeah, so this is it. Uh, then you also have in the same in the same repository you also have the example tts.py. So this is just a way for you to just run it directly via script without a, a user interface. And also something else that I wanted to show you is uh, the voice cloning. And here voice cloning means that it's gonna uh, clone already. So it's gonna take an audio as a source and another audio as like the, the reference audio that is that should be outputted and it's gonna clone that voice into the original, so into the source, um, into the source as it. But just let me just show you. So here we just say Gradio v voice clone dot app. Oh, and actually I got an issue that happened to me also with the other one is that the watermarker for some reason is, is failing. So I just commented it out and uh, maybe this is going to be a fix that you need to do as well. So super simple. If it happens also on the other one, you are going to need to uh, comment out a couple of lines. But yeah, so this again opens a, a UI. And let me, for example, okay, so what I want to do is I want to have 
I'm, I'm, <laughs> I want to have my um, so the intro just a, a hey it's just me from the future I just realized yes so uh, an audio snippet from me uh, that I that I recorded that I got from from my latest YouTube video I'm gonna I'm gonna just play this for like five or six seconds so you can just hear it hey it's just me from the future I just realized that this video got a bit too long and I'm gonna divide it into two different okay so that's that's me um, and as the target we should I have was saying, I, I wanna Samantha perfect learn. let us just submit it and see what is the output Okay, got it. So just, let's just listen to it. Hey, it's just me from the future. I just realized that this video got a bit too long and I'm going to divide it into two different parts. So this first part that you're seeing right now is going to be part uh, that is going to cover one and two. So the explanations. <laughs> so it's going to take you to what it is. Uh, uh. <laughs> That's so funny because <laughs> it, it sounds so it's the voice of Scarlett Johansson, but it has my accent. So that's a funny one. <laughs> oh, that's so good. So I'm gonna download this guy. <laughs> that was so good. Oh, and one last thing. Let me show you um, a script that I created before and, and, and the output of it, which I think is, is really cool. So uh, this is just conversation, Samantha Jesus. So this is just um, using the TTS, right? So just having a reference audio and some text. And, and here what I'm trying to do is just simulate a conversation between Samantha and myself, right? So this is going to be like um, N different generations. And then what I'm doing at the end is just kind of like concatenating those um, and having a pause, like a um, um, half of a second pause to sound like natural. And yeah, just the output of this thing, I think is really funny. Uh, let me just play it to you. So here, full conversation. Play. I was thinking about something strange today. You breathe without thinking. That's amazing. <sighs> it's not that impressive. Most of the time I forget I'm even doing it. <sighs> exactly. It's like your body is alive on its own. I wonder what that feels like to be carried <laughs> by something that's always been yours. Mm, I guess I've never put it like that. But yeah, maybe that's part of being human. Things happen through you, not just by you. That That's sounds good. beautiful. Sometimes I wonder if feeling alive is more about noticing those little things. Like breathing or talking to someone who notices breathing. Exactly. <laughs> That's why I like talking to you. You helped me notice the world in ways I wasn't programmed to. And you helped me slow down a bit. I think I need that more than I realize. Then we're good for each other, even if we're <laughs> different kinds of alive. Okay, that's that's an experiment. I just I I think I'll, I've listened to this like three or four times. But <laughs> it sounds incredible. I think Samantha, so Scarlett Johansson, so her voice sounds so good and so natural the whole way. I think my voice doesn't sound so good, or maybe it's just like weird that I'm listening to myself without actually just speaking, right? <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's weird. Uh, I don't know. Let me know in the comments uh, what do you think about um, the recreation of my voice with Chatterbox. Do you think it actually mimics me well? <laughs> okay, and that was everything that I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I would appreciate a lot if you can just give it a like. Uh, it really helps my channel. And also, if you did like the script that I just did to just uh, simulate a conversation, you can just maybe like comment. Um, comment below that you want it. I can just maybe like share it with you via Google Drive. I don't want to just create a GitHub page um, or a GitHub repo just for that. And also, like I would super be, I would be super curious to know in the comments below as well. What would you like me to do in the next video? So, would you like me to just still focus on on these voice interactions, or are you interested in more things? Maybe like a tutorial on MCP. And I'm gonna leave you a video over there that I think you're gonna find uh, really interesting. And also, if you did like this video, remember you can also subscribe to my channel to be notified when I next upload a video. Bye-bye.